Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Waddell, Arizona. I always laugh when I say that because uh, I've never, you know, there. It's it's a small community, but this is where the school is located. Waddell, out in the West Valley, um, Canyon View High School, host side of tonight's rivalry, big rivalry matchup here uh, between uh, the Agua Fria Owls and the Canyon View Jaguars. My name is Vince Delisio. So excited, so uh, happy to be able to bring you tonight's game with my broadcast partner, Mr. Sammy Rivera. Sammy, what do we got on tap tonight? Oh, we have a really good game, as you were saying, a rivalry here in the 5A Desert West region. It'll be a fun one. You know, these, these Owls of Agua Fria have kind of struggled this season, but they've had a lot of close games, a lot of single-digit games, a few of them coming in that loss column, but they're still competitive. Had a very close loss to a, a very good Kellis team, but this Canyon View team was able to actually beat Kellis, and so I think it'll be a very competitive game we have here. Well, we had a chance to visit with both head coaches uh, a little while ago. What I'd like to do is uh, our, our uh, uh, wizard technical director, uh, Bailey Lazier. Bailey, if you'll uh, run that first interview with uh, uh, Owls coach Vernon Holmes, please. Hey, guys, here with... Agua Fria Owls head basketball coach Vernon Holmes. Coach Holmes, talk to us a little bit about the holiday break and how the team has uh, come back here to start the second half of the season. Well, you know how holiday breaks are. They're holidays for a reason. But uh, we're coming back pretty strong. Won a couple games up in our tournament that we had. Our kids are playing harder. Uh, we're definitely been getting at it, practicing hard, and ready for this contest today. What do you know about the team you're facing tonight? Well, I know that they grew up together. They're all seniors right now. I think you got about seven seniors on this team, some very good players that work together, share the ball. If I leave them open, they're going to shoot from the outside, so we don't plan on doing that. Agua Fria at Canyon View tonight, 7 p.m. Good luck, Coach. Right, thanks. Coach Holmes uh, knows, knows a little about this Canyon View team. He knows that these, uh, uh, these kids grew up together, and, uh, and they, they present a, a real challenge for his squad tonight. You know, also had a chance to visit with uh, Jaguars head basketball coach Adrian Arona. It was funny because he was sitting there. I didn't even recognize him. I said, excuse me, where's Coach Arona? <laughs> He's lost like 25 pounds uh, in the past year. So he looks great and a lot of energy, a lot of pep in his step. So let's go to that interview with Coach Arona. Here with Canyon View head basketball coach Adrian Arona. Coach Arona, we talk about the holiday break. It did one of two things. Either teams got, got set back a little bit or they came out even stronger than ever. How would you define your team since the holiday? I feel like the holidays were a great opportunity for us to um, reset ourselves, um, you know, build our rotations. We have, we have a much deeper bench this year, um, uh, and, and it really kind of solidified the things that we've been trying to do get back in a little bit of shape um, for the second half and, you know, rest a little bit as well just to make sure that we were ready for the second half run. A uh, big crosstown rival in Agua Fria. How do you feel about these guys tonight and how do you match up? They're athletic and we're going to have to, um, you know, try to match their speed early on. Um, I feel like, you know, in the past we played them. Our zone has been pretty effective against them. Uh, we'll see if that works out again tonight. If not, we'll adjust. Good luck, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome back, and uh, we are a few minutes here from uh, the introductions and the national anthem uh, and all the uh, pregame fanfare. We're going to uh, take a little break here. When we come back, uh, which should be in the next couple of minutes, uh, we will go through tonight's starting lineups. Thanks again for joining us here on the Varsity Sports Show Network out at Canyon View High School. Thank you for listening to the Varsity Sports Show. Our mission is to empower education and enable dreams, creating a platform to promote young people in extracurricular activities and community outreach. If you are interested in partnering up with the Varsity Sports Show, find us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or call or text us at 480-779-9437. The Varsity Sports Show, Arizona's home for youth, high school, college, and you. 
Coming this winter to the Varsity Sports Show, AIA, high school, basketball, soccer, and wrestling. Attention, student athletes, parents, coaches, and administrators. We are contracted affiliates with NFHS. Tired of Pixelot? Our NFHS authorized platform can spotlight your favorite team with multi camera and full broadcast crews. We still offer our YouTube channels as well. Single game, multi game, and season coverage available to meet every budget, including a segment on the Varsity Sports Radio Show on AM 1060 K. US Arizona dedicated to your team. We can even help promote your booster businesses. Act fast. The season is right around the corner. Hey guys, Vince here to talk to you about a good friend of mine named Bob Jenkins. Bob is a Marine Corps veteran. Bob and his younger brother DJ own Vets Built Contracting. For five years, they've been hiring and putting veterans to work. Vets Built is licensed, bonded, and insured, both residential and commercial, specializing in renovations, remodeling, new build, casitas, safe rooms, or small commercial TI work. If you're a skilled veteran looking for work, a homeowner in need of work, or a commercial business needing TI work, please call Bob or DJ at Vets Built at 480-584-3675. Are you unable to do the things you love? Do you know your daily habits could be better to enhance your quality of life? Are you suffering with chronic pain or chronic illness and can't find the right solution that works for you? Fix Body Group was created so you have a team of professionals to help you achieve your health goals and get you back to doing what you love again. In Scottsdale, go to fixbodygroup.com or call 480-795-5329. Fix Body Group, proud partners of the Varsity Sports Show and Fitness Minute with Tyler Mayer. Hey guys, Vince here to talk about Angel Dentistry. It's where my wife and I have gone for over 10 years and we trust them with our routine and extensive dental care because they care. Dr. Amber Angel is an Arizona native born in the town of Miami and has been practicing in the Valley over 20 years. For general to comprehensive dental services, call 602-788-2008. Located off of Cave Creek Road just north of the 101 in North Phoenix. Angel Dentistry, proud supporters of our young people and proud partners of the Varsity Sports Show. Welcome back to Canyon View High School. Monday night basketball here uh, at, uh, in the Jaguar Nation. Uh, Canyon View Jaguars head boys basketball coach, Adrian Arona, hosting the Agua Fria Owls, coached by Vernon Holmes. And uh, we'll run through the starting lineups here in, in just a moment. Um, as we were going through and talking about, you know, the, the holiday break does one of two things. You either come out of it limping because of tournament play and and uh, miscues and whatnot, or you come out of it stronger than, than ever. And uh, in talking to both these coaches, they felt like they were well positioned after the holiday break as opposed to going in. They found out a little bit more about their teams, uh, where they were. And, and Sammy, you being a coach, you're a basketball coach, I mean, what, what's your feeling on, on tournament play over the holidays? Uh, it's great. You know, it's it's a little tough at times. Um, you know, a lot of families wait until the, the holidays to go on vacation. And so getting everyone there is is difficult at times. And when you throw on top of that, you know, the situation with COVID, um, it really can be challenging. But it, like you were saying earlier, it's it's nothing but beneficial to, to all the players who get in. And it's really crucial and meaningful minutes for, for later in the season. Okay, so we're going to uh, keep it here. Uh, and uh, but we are going to to allow the um, folks to go through here with the national anthem as we honor our nation, and then we will be back with starting lineups. Stick around.
All right, let's run through our starting lineups here. Uh, first with the visiting Owls, number four, Demarion Anderson. Number five, Jordan Taylor. Number 21, Toby Balagoon. Number 22, Tony Robinson. And number 23, Christian Mbazu Matima. For the Jaguars, number zero, the senior, Ladarian Hayes. Number one, the junior, Cohen Aldridge. Number two, the senior, Dante Marshall. Number 10, the junior, Connor Aldridge. And number 22, Matthew Sarzoza. Owls come in with an overall record of six and nine. And the Jaguars at nine and six. Okay, so Sammy, you had a chance to scan both benches. What are your initial thoughts? Well, right now, it's I think it's really going to be about the size difference between these two teams. It looks like Canyon View has a bit more size, but with this starting five that they're rolling out, relatively small, and it looks like Agua Fria might have an advantage there. And I think it's really just going to be about utilizing those matchups and finding what works for you as the game goes on. Toby and uh, Matthew Zarzoza face off on the tip off here. Tip control by the Owls. Anderson with the basketball. Anderson brings the ball up court, dishes off to Taylor. Off to the corner, nearly lost out of bounds, saved by Anderson. Anderson top of the key, inside. Shot is up by Toby and rebounded by the Jags. Here come the Jaguars around the wing. Aldridge back to Marshall. Dante Marshall being guarded by Robinson. The 20-footer is up and good by Marshall. It was a really and clean shot coming off the screen there. Anderson. And inside, the lay-in does not fall. Rebounded by Aldridge. Cohen Aldridge dishes off to Hayes. Hayes, right wing. Tries to get the ball inside to Zarzoza. Does, who dishes it back out to Connor Aldridge. The 16-foot jumper is up and in. Jags lead 4-0. Damarian Anderson brings the ball up court. And the deep three, no good. Rebounded by Hayes. Hayes finds a lane inside, turns around to Connor Aldridge for three, and it's good. The Jags on fire early. And inside, and the hard foul. Taylor goes down. Foul is on Zarzoza, that is his first. And Jordan Taylor will shoot two. Refs are letting him play. Yeah, well it's been some fast paced basketball thus far. Not really too much for them to call. Owls needed that though, they needed something just to stop the game. First shot is good. Taylor's second attempt is in. And the Jags lead seven to two. Dante Marshall up court to Connor Aldridge. Aldridge driving the lane inside, dishes it back out to his brother. 
who makes a three. And excuse me, that was Cohen dishing it to Connor Aldridge. Jags lead 10 to two. Ball is kicked out of bounds, last touched by the Jags. Owls will inbound. Robinson off to Hayes. Excuse me, Taylor. Taylor back to Robinson. Robinson searching. Finds Anderson. Back to Taylor. Taylor driving from 14. Can't get it to fall. Rebounded, taken away inside by Christian. Errant pass sails out of bounds. Owls will retain possession. Taylor to Anderson, back inside. And the shot is scooped up, can't get it to fall. Rebounded by the Jags. Here comes Marshall. And the alley-oop play results in a miss. Rebounded by Tony Robinson of the Owls. Robinson out to Taylor. Taylor back to Robinson, scoops it up and dishes it back outside. Sails out of bounds. Last touch by Toby. And Jags will have it. Dante Marshall walks the ball up court. Out to the wing to Connor Aldridge. The three, it's good. Ladarian Hayes. Jags lead 13 to two, under five minutes remaining. Ball is stolen. And the lay-in by Hayes. 15-2. Toby inside, shoots, and is offensive foul. Wow. That is Toby's first. You can see why Canyon View went with this lineup with this small ball. I mean, they've been lighting it up from just about everywhere on the court. Quick 15 points in yeah, a timeout. Shoot. Wow, shooting, passing, everything, and with that, the uh, Owls will take a timeout. We'll take the timeout as well. Uh, we'll see if that's a that is a 30. We're going to keep it here. We'll keep it here. And uh, yeah, 15 to 2. Wow, what a start, Sammy. And part of it, too, I mean, they got that one steal in the press, but it's not even necessarily about that. They're playing really good defense, making, uh, making the Owls take the kind of shot that they want them to take, not letting them get too far into the middle. They've been doing a great job of getting there, trying to draw a charge, got one. One was called a block, which gave the Owls those two points. But, I mean, man, they just jumped on them right away. And when you can do something like this, I mean, it's exactly how you want to start. Amazing. Great, great start to a great game. And uh, the Jags lead by 13. Jaguar basketball. Marshall with the ball. Takes it to the hoop. Just short. Rebounded by Toby. Toby dishes off to Demarion Anderson. Anderson with the ball. Top of the key, guarded by Hayes. Anderson. Nearly loses the pass, gets it back, and dishes off inside, back out. And the three attempt is no good. Rebound by Christian, who is foul. Foul will be on Matthew Zarzoza. That is his second. And going to the free throw line will be Christian Mombazu Matima. First attempt is up and in. And now some of that size checking in for, for Canyon View with Kendrick Brady coming in. Brady at 6'6". Six, six. And the second attempt is up and in. Jags lead 15 to four. Four minutes remaining opening period. Brady kicks it out. Cosgrove inside, loses the basketball, picked up by Anderson. Here come the Owls. And the lay-in is good by Gabriel Velasquez. Back inside, the easy lay-in for Cohen Aldridge. And the Jags get two back, 17-6. Stolen 
quick play by Kendrick Brady. He was the last one that touched it, so the Owls will have the basketball. Jordan Taylor with the ball. Passes across court. Anderson ends up with it, and it's blocked. Connor Aldridge dishes off to Marshall, who lays it up and in. Dante Marshall. Make it look so easy, Sammy. Yeah, he really does. And the foul on the spin move there. Cohen Aldridge picks up his first. And the Owls will have possession. Stolen. Ball is stolen by Dante Marshall. Cross court pass. And finishing up on the other end, Denali McNeil is fouled. Foul is on Gabriel Velasquez. That's his first. And Denali McNeil will shoot two. First attempt off the rim. Substitution for the Owls. Nathan Gwen will check in for Mumbazu Matima. McNeil's second attempt, no good. And rebounded by Taylor. Toby with the basketball, off to Taylor. Taylor dishes off, stolen by Marshall. Marshall brings it back the other way, lays it up and in. Dante Marshall with a heady defensive play. And on the other end, the block resulting in a foul. Foul will be on Cohen Aldridge, that's his second. So this is a feel good story here, Sammy. As I look at the roster, the defensive stalwart for Dante Marshall is my height. <laughs> He's 5'8". I'm 5'8 in my lifts, but 5'8". Uh, so small ball it is. You know, but when he's a t he attacks the rim like he's bigger than 5'8". Yeah. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't be able to do that. And Gwen shoots, and it's good. Jags lead 21-7. Marshall, double teamed, nearly loses the basketball, and picked up by McNeil. McNeil takes it to the hoop. Just under two and a half minutes remaining in this opening period. Jaguars making a statement tonight, leading by 16. The three-point attempt by Guy is no good. Marshall. Marshall to Cosgrove, loses the basketball. And Cosgrove gets it back, only to lose it again. Goes out of bounds, last touched by the Owls, Jags basketball. Dante Marshall brings the ball up court. 155 and counting in this opening period. Marshall for three, and it's good. Jags lead 26 to seven. Damian Madore in the ball game for the Owls. Passes off to Guy Dajimana. Midori, left wing, sets up the offense. Off to Guy, Guy inside, nearly taken away, and it is. And a jump ball results. Possession arrow favors the Jags. Jaguars will have it. 113 remaining in the opening period. Jags lead the Owls 26 to seven. Marshall, top of the key. Ball is taken away. Guy with the basketball goes to the hoop. Can't get it to fall, but he is fouled. 
Foul is on Joseph Franco. That is his first. And Guy Daji Jamana will shoot two. You know, despite having a bit of a, a size disadvantage, you know, Agua Fria is still attacking the rim, and, you know, it's paying off for him getting Canyon View into a bit of a, a bit of foul trouble. Five fouls here in the first quarter. Wow. It'll be a nightmare for, for the coach to get out of the second quarter with out giving away too many free throws. Second attempt is off the glass, or off the rim rather, and rebounded by Brady. To Marshall, to McNeil for three, no good. Tipped out, and Guy comes up with it for the Owls. Only to be stolen back by Marshall, to be taken away by Midori. And inside to Gwen, who makes it. Two points. 30 seconds remaining. The three by Marshall, off the rim. Sails out of bounds, last touched by the Owls. Jags will have it back. And Sagua Fria team's really gonna have to, you know, get everyone down there for the boards with Brady in there. Dante Marshall with the basketball. Now the strategy likely just to let the clock run out. As Franco and Marshall just play a little keep away. And Cosgrove can't make it. McNeil with it. And they count it at the buzzer. Denali McNeil, and that's how we end the first quarter with the Jaguars leading the Agua Free Owls 28 to nine. We'll be back. Training Better Athletes was founded by renowned football coach Ron Sowers with the philosophy of training well-rounded young people in mind and body. DBA is the go-to for middle schoolers through the pros. Coach Sowers has worked with all sports but specializes in football offensive and defensive line skills training. Whether it's one-on-one -on -one or group training, reach out to Coach Sowers at trainingbetterathletes.com or call him at 602-435-9064. You can't cheat the grind. 24th Street Dental Biltmore is the place to go for cosmetic dentistry and Invisalign. Doctors Braden, Turner, and the team are ready to put your dental needs first. They are the Valley's Invisalign experts. Schedule a free exam today and mention the Varsity Show for complimentary in-house whitening. From cleanings to more comprehensive dental, 24th Street Dental Biltmore in Phoenix is the first step toward a healthier smile. Located in the heart of the Biltmore, call or stop by 602-468-1135. Proud partners of the Varsity Sports Show. Second quarter, Sammy and Vince here. And Taylor dishes it out. The three attempt, no good. Rebounded by McNeil. Off to Marshall. Marshall to Franco. Back to Marshall inside, dishes it out. McNeil, the 15-foot floater, no good. McNeil gets the rebound, takes it up again, can't get it to fall. Taylor, or Brady, takes it away, but we've got a foul called underneath. A jump ball, possession arrow, favors the Jags, and McNeil will inbound. Off to Marshall. Back to McNeil for three. No good. Brady is blocked by Toby. Off to Anderson. Anderson. Back to Toby inside. Last touched by a Jaguar, and the Owls will inbound the basketball. Toby to Anderson. Back inside, and the foul. Foul will be on Brady. You know, in Agua Fria, they might be able to stay in the game just by shooting these free throws and just kind of chipping away. You know, 19 points can be a bit scary. It can seem like a lot, but, you know, you have a whole three quarters to, to make it back, but you have to 
do what you need to at the free throw line. Mumbazu Matima about to attempt his second free throw. No good, pushed out of bounds by Cosgrove and last touched by the Owls, Jags will have it. See, and we'll see Agua Fria setting up in a press here, try to create a few turnovers, try to chip away some more. Mm. Foul is on uh, Velasquez, and that is his second. Owls will have it. Join us uh, at halftime. Right at the start of halftime, we'll interview Jags coach Adrian Arona, I should say, our very own Sammy Rivera will interview Jags coach Adrian Arona and get his thoughts on the first half, coach to coach. Aldridge can't get it to fall, but Sarzosa does. Jags lead by 20. Velasquez off to Anderson. Taylor with the basketball nearly loses it, gets it back and takes it himself. Cannot get it to fall, Zarzoza with the rebound. McNeil brings the ball up court. Cosgrove back to Aldridge, and it sails out of bounds. Owl basketball. Anderson inside. Dishes it out. Taylor, the one-hand jumper, no good. Zarzoza and Aldridge is blocked with authority. Taylor comes up limping, pushes the ball up court to his teammate Anderson. Anderson in the corner is pushed. Stoppage in play. See, and now, I mean, free throws for the rest of the half for, for Agua Fria. Big for them considering how much they're down. And when you look at how they're attacking Canyon View on offense, they're really trying to get it to that middle, to that elbow area, and then drop it down to the short corner with a cut. And it's working, it's getting, it's, it's getting them some looks. They're, they're not quite finishing, though. Taylor's had some good looks inside. The floater isn't really falling. Might be time to just rise up for, for a regular shot at this point. Bryson Cosgrove charged with that foul. That was his first. And Cosgrove with the rebound. Marshall with the basketball to Aldridge. The turnaround jumper, no good. Anderson comes up with the rebound. Anderson takes it coast to coast and is blocked. Ball is taken away by Zarzoza. Here come the Jags. Marshall on the other end, lays it up and in. Wisely reverses that layup. Must have had eyes in the back of his head. Ball is lost again, stolen by McNeil. McNeil behind the back. Did you guys see that? That was as circus as it gets. Wow. And on the other end is Anderson, lays it up and in. Jags lead 34-13, under five minutes remaining till halftime. That's just been kind of the night for Canyon View, though. Every, everything seems to be falling for him. That's, that was the Rivera curse there. Yep. When you said that, he missed it. And Anderson rebounds Arzoza. Off to Cosgrove. Cosgrove cross court to McNeil. McNeil, baseline jumper, no good. And on the other end comes Anderson, who's fouled. Fouls on Connor Aldridge, that's his first. And the only part, I guess you could say, about or the upside to the foul trouble that Canyon View is in is they're, they're getting anyone who gets into foul trouble, they're getting them out of the game and making sure they don't get more than two fouls. It's a bit too early in this point to, to let them get 
any more than that. Yeah, I'll say. I, uh, you've, you only have two players uh, with, uh, with the Owls that have fouls. And you really got to watch out. Toby only has one, but definitely don't want him to get into foul trouble. Hasn't come off the court yet. Hayes with the basketball. Off to Aldridge for three. No good. McNeil off to Marshall for three. And it is good. Dante Marshall, another three. Jags lead by 22. Anderson into the hands of Aldridge, taken away by Robinson. Marshall with the basketball. Missing two gimmies, those will drive the coach crazy. The jumper three, no good. Zarzoza comes up with it. Off to Hayes who lays it up and in. Credit Marshall with the assist. Those offensive rebounds really killing Agua Fria right now. Taylor just comes up short. And Hayes to McNeil who lays it up and in. Agua Fria will take a full timeout. We'll take the timeout as well. 3.03 remaining till halftime. Jags lead the Owls 41-15. Sammy and Vince will be back. Training Better Athletes was founded by renowned football coach Ron Sowers with the philosophy of training well-rounded young people in mind and body. TBA is the go-to for middle schoolers through the pros. Coach Sowers has worked with all sports but specializes in football offensive and defensive line skills training. Whether it's one-on-one -on -one or group training, reach out to Coach Sowers at trainingbetterathletes.com or call him at 602-435-9064. You can't cheat the grind. Okay. Welcome back. <laughs> Sammy and I were talking a little bit. We have a good time. We are talking a little off camera here about uh, who's doing what. And Sammy is uh, definitely looking forward to interviewing Coach uh, Arona at halftime. So Jags lead the Owls 41-15, 3.03 remaining till half. You know, and kind of what we talked about with this Agua Fria offense, you know, they, they set up in, you know, what looks like a diamond look to where they have that short corner running side to side against this 2-3 zone yep. with someone sitting in the middle there. Can be really effective at times, but if you can't knock down the outside shot, it really limits you. Anderson, uh, excuse me, Robinson dishes to Anderson for three, no good. And McNeil with a rebound. Off to Hayes for three. Sails out of bounds. Last touch by the Owls. Jags will have it. McNeil inbounds to Aldridge. Can't get it to fall. And the tie up. Jump ball, possession arrow will favor the Owls with 2.21 remaining till half. It was a good look off the inbound. Sarzosa, you know, just kind of sealed off his defender, opened up the middle for Aldridge, just not able to get the, the little jumper to fall. Anderson walks the ball up court, off to Robinson. Robinson inside to Toby, back out again. Anderson nearly loses the basketball on the errant pass, gets it back, and Toby inside, gets the rebound, and follows up and in. Zarzoza off to McNeil. Inside to Zarzoza. And the Jags lead by 26. 
Anderson with the basketball. To Toby, the jumper, in and out, rebounded by Marshall. Marshall brings the ball up court. And stepping out of bounds was Zarzoza. It'll be, oh, and we have a foul called. Okay, Toby charged with the foul. Jags basketball. Over the top, Hayes with the ball. Dishes off to Franco for three, and it's good. Joseph Franco. Brady with the steal. Off to McNeil. Over the top to Hayes. Back out to Aldridge for three. Left all alone and nails it. Yeah, this Canyon View team shoots too well to, to not have someone close out on that shot. Wow. Anderson inside. Rebounded by Hayes. Here come the Jags once again. Hayes. The soft jumper inside lays it up and in. 30 seconds remaining till half. Jags fully in control now. Toby inside. Ball is saved by Brady to Franco. Stolen back by Anderson. Off to Toby. Forces it inside is foul. Foul is on Brady, that is his second. That one kind of hurts him and Sarzosa now, both of them with two fouls. And to pick that up five seconds before the end of the half, you almost, with this lead, just let him lay it in, you know. Stick around, folks. At halftime, we'll be joined by Jags coach Adrian Arona. Somebody coming up limping there. And foul will be on 23, Mombazu Mitima. That's his first. Yeah, it looks like it was Toby Balligan for the Owls limping a bit there. But, I mean, he'll stay in for this last defensive play as they get just a little bit of time left. Looks like they'll try for nine-tenths. Okay. Oh. Well, one second left on the clock. And the final shot is off the rim. Jaguars lead the Owls 51-18. We'll be joined here by Coach Adrian Arona. Stick around, folks. Twenty Fourth Street Dental Biltmore is the place to go for cosmetic dentistry and Invisalign. Doctors Braden Turner and the team. Staff thus far for your team, I was just curious. You know what? What um, you know has helped you guys get out to such a large lead this early in the game? We're shooting the ball extremely well. Um, you know, I was just looking at my assistant coach at one point late in the first quarter. I was like, "Have we missed a shot?" And he's like, "Just a layup." <laughs> so. Uh, Shooting the ball well. Um, defensively, um, our zone, we're pretty lengthy in that, so we, get, we cover a lot of angles. Um, some of their best players right now are struggling a little bit with trying to penetrate right, the zone, so we're taking advantage of that. And, uh, you know, the team got into a bit of foul trouble there towards, um, especially in that second quarter there. What, what did you, what was the message to the team to kind of stay out of that, to keep them out of the double bonus? Well, you know, and I don't mind, I, I don't mind you know, a foul if you're going after, you know, a rebound or something like that, but just being smart. Don't make those personal errors, you know, those, per, those fouls that don't necessarily do anything for us, and, you know, it's an unforced error in our mind. Great. Thank you so much, yes, Coach. Sir. Best of luck. Thanks, guys. All right, folks, there you have it. So 
Wise words from Coach Arona. Nice job there, Sammy. And uh, with that being said, Sammy, w what are the takeaways from uh, from what Coach Arona just told you? You know, exactly like he said, they're shooting the ball very well right now at a really high clip. And any time your opponent is doing that, it's going to be frustrating. You know, there's almost nothing you can do but just kind of toss your hands up and, you know, hope you can get out of this one with no injuries. But the way they came out in that first quarter, I mean, Agua Fria had a, a very tall hill to climb and it has gotten a bit steeper now what do you what do you think the message is right now that coach Holmes is delivering to those owls in the locker room you know again it's keep chipping away you know you got to keep push uh, attacking the basket keep drawing fouls so that way you can get back to the free throw line and you need to execute once you get there but not only that I mean you're going to need uh, uh, a really strong shooting performance in this second half to even make a comeback. Um, and you're also going to need an even better performance on the defensive end. It looks like both of these teams are sitting back in a 2-3 zone right now, which, again, is going to force teams to shoot that outside ball. You know, it kind of fingers crossed right now that Canyon View starts to miss some shots and lets you get back into the game. But at the same time, they've given up a lot of offensive rebounds and a lot of second-chance points off of those. Wow. Okay, well, big hill to climb for uh, Coach Holmes and his squad, the Agua Fria Owls tonight, as uh, Coach Arona's team, the Canyon View Jaguars, have taken a commanding lead here going into halftime, 51-18. So stick around, folks. We'll be back for more second-half action here in the next seven minutes. Thanks again for joining us here on the Varsity Sports Show Network, live from Canyon View High School. 24th Street Dental Biltmore is the place to go for cosmetic dentistry and Invisalign. Doctors Braden, Turner, and the team are ready to put your dental needs first. They are the Valley's Invisalign experts. Schedule a free exam today and mention the Varsity Show for complimentary in-house whitening. From cleanings to more comprehensive dental, 24th Street Dental Biltmore in Phoenix is the first step toward a healthier smile. Located in the heart of the Biltmore, call or stop by 602-468-1135. Proud partners of the Varsity Sports Show. Thank you for listening to the Varsity Sports Show. Our mission is to empower education and enable dreams, creating a platform to promote young people in extracurricular activities and community outreach. If you are interested in partnering up with the Varsity Sports Show, find us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or call or text us at 480-779-9437. The Varsity Sports Show, Arizona's home for youth, high school, college, and you. Coming this winter to the Varsity Sports Show, AIA, high school, basketball, soccer, and wrestling. Attention, student athletes, parents, coaches, and administrators. We are contracted affiliates with NFHS. Tired of Pixelot? Our NFHS authorized platform can spotlight your favorite team with multi-camera and full broadcast crews. We still offer our YouTube channels as well. Single game, multi-game, and season coverage available to meet every budget, including a segment on the Varsity Sports Radio Show on AM 1060 K. US Arizona dedicated to your team. We can even help promote your booster businesses. Act fast. The season is right around the corner. Hey guys, Vince here to talk to you about a good friend of mine named Bob Jenkins. Bob is a Marine Corps veteran. Bob and his younger brother DJ own Vets Built Contracting. For five years, they've been hiring and putting veterans to work. Vets Built is licensed, bonded, and insured, both residential and commercial, specializing in renovations, remodeling, new build, casitas, safe rooms, or small commercial TI work. If you're a skilled veteran looking for work, a homeowner in need of work, or a commercial business needing TI work, please call Bob or DJ at Vets Built at 480-584-3675. Are you unable to do the things you love? Do you know your daily habits could be better to enhance your quality of life? Are you suffering with chronic pain or chronic illness and can't find the right solution that works for you? Fix Body Group was created so you have a team of professionals to help you achieve your health goals and get you back to doing what you love again. In Scottsdale, go to fixbodygroup.com or call 480-795-5329. Fix Body Group, proud partners of the Varsity Sports Show and Fitness Minute with Tyler Mayer.
Hey guys, Vince here to talk about Angel Dentistry. It's where my wife and I have gone for over 10 years and we trust them with our routine and extensive dental care because they care. Dr. Amber Angel is an Arizona native born in the town of Miami and has been practicing in the Valley over 20 years. For general to comprehensive dental services, call 602-788-2008. Located off of Cave Creek Road just north of the 101 in North Phoenix, Angel Dentistry, proud supporters of our young people and proud partners of the Varsity Sports Show. Training Better Athletes was founded by renowned football coach Ron Sowers with the philosophy of training well-rounded young people in mind and body. TBA is the go-to for middle schoolers through the pros. Coach Sowers has worked with all sports but specializes in football offensive and defensive line skills training. Whether it's one-on-one -on -one or group training, reach out to Coach Sowers at trainingbetterathletes.com or call him at 602-435-9064. You can't cheat the grind. 24th Street Dental Biltmore is the place to go for cosmetic dentistry and Invisalign. Doctors Braden, Turner, and the team are ready to put your dental needs first. They are the Valley's Invisalign experts. Schedule a free exam today and mention the Varsity Show for complimentary in-house whitening. From cleanings to more comprehensive dental, 24th Street Dental Biltmore in Phoenix is the first step toward a healthier smile. Located in the heart of the Biltmore, call or stop by 602-468-1135. Proud partners of the Varsity Sports Show. Thank you for listening to the Varsity Sports Show. Our mission is to empower education and enable dreams, creating a platform to promote young people in extracurricular activities and community outreach. If you are interested in partnering up with the Varsity Sports Show, find us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or call or text us at 480-779-9437. The Varsity Sports Show, Arizona's home for youth, high school, college, and you. Coming this winter to the Varsity Sports Show, AIA, high school, basketball, soccer, and wrestling. Attention, student athletes, parents, coaches, and administrators. We are contracted affiliates with NFHS. Tired of Pixelot? Our NFHS authorized platform can spotlight your favorite team with multi-camera and full broadcast crews. We still offer our YouTube channels as well. Single game, multi-game, and season coverage available to meet every budget, including a segment on the Varsity Sports Radio Show on AM 1060 K. US Arizona dedicated to your team. We can even help promote your booster businesses. Act fast. The season is right around the corner. Hey guys, Vince here to talk to you about a good friend of mine named Bob Jenkins. Bob is a Marine Corps veteran. Bob and his younger brother DJ own Vets Built Contracting. For five years, they've been hiring and putting veterans to work. Vets Built is licensed, bonded, and insured, both residential and commercial, specializing in renovations, remodeling, new build, casitas, safe rooms, or small commercial TI work. If you're a skilled veteran looking for work, a homeowner in need of work, or a commercial business needing TI work, please call Bob or DJ at Vets Built at 480-584-3675. Are you unable to do the things you love? Do you know your daily habits could be better to enhance your quality of life? Are you suffering with chronic pain or chronic illness and can't find the right solution that works for you? Fix Body Group was created so you have a team of professionals to help you achieve your health goals and get you back to doing what you love again. In Scottsdale, go to fixbodygroup.com or call 480-795-5329. Fix Body Group, proud partners of the Varsity Sports Show and Fitness Minute with Tyler Mayer. Welcome back to uh, second half action here at uh, live from Canyon View High School. Vince Delisio joined by uh, the coach, Sammy Rivera. And uh, we are bringing you some, some pretty good basketball here, at least on the part of uh, Canyon View. Uh, Agua Fria struggled a bit in the first half to get their shot, get down the court. Uh, but uh, they've had opportunities for sure. And uh, we will start possession of the second half with uh, Cohen Aldridge inbounding for the Jaguars. Uh, let's see, the officials, there's one on at half court, one under the basket, trying to figure out who will inbound the basketball here. Anyway. Thanks again for joining us here for Monday Night Basketball. Okay. Dante Marshall brings the ball up court, guarded by Robinson. Marshall inside and loses the ball, but is fouled in the process. Foul is on Toby Balligan. That is his third already. 
Yeah, and I mean, the fact that it's his third with, with this lead, I think, you know, might as well just leave him out there, play through it. But back to the move that Marshall made, just really nice ISO game there against the taller defender, able to kind of worm around him and draw that foul. Marshall makes the second. And Damarian Anderson with the basketball. Off to Jordan Taylor. Anderson for three, and it's good. 52-21. Connor Aldridge back to Marshall. Marshall to Hayes. Hayes guarded by Anderson. And Aldridge for three. Off the rim and tipped out by Zarazoza. Back to Hayes. Hayes inside. They make it look so effortless. He wasn't even looking at the basket and he made that shot. Right, and again, another offensive rebound for the Jags and an another opportunity at second chance points and they deliver. Ball is stolen by Zarzoza. And the three. Picked up by Anderson. Anderson. Cross court to Robinson, lays it up, can't get it to fall, rebounded by Cohen Aldridge. Marshall to Aldridge, tipped away and picked up by Anderson. Anderson lays it up and in. 54-23. Cohen Aldridge pushes the ball up court, dishes it out to his brother Connor for three, no good. Zarzoza inside, lays it back up. And ball rolls out of bounds. Last touch by Robinson, Jags will have it. Zarzoza is just working down there as a rebounder. Really tough to box out. Aldridge, off the rim. Last touch by the Jags. It's a nice little play design that they have there just haven't been able to connect on it. They've ran it a few times. Anderson brings the ball up court. To Taylor. Back out to Anderson. Anderson, right wing, guarded by Hayes. Taylor double teamed. Dishes it to the open man, back into the hands of Anderson. And inside, the vision, Anderson to Robinson for two. Marshall, coast to coast, lays it up and in. Not afraid of contact at all. Jags back up by 31. Jordan Taylor out to Christian. Anderson now, the deep three off the rim. Followed up, back up and in by Christian and the foul. Foul is on Cohen Aldridge, that is his third. And going to the free throw line for one will be Mubazu Mutima. Rebounded by Hayes, here come the Jags. Connor Aldridge to his brother Cohen. Cohen spinning inside, dishes it back out. Marshall for three. No good. Saved by Zarzoza. And inside to Zarzoza. Follows up and gets it. Jags hanging on to a 31 point lead.
Hayes out to Aldridge for three, and it's good. Nothing but net. Connor Aldridge. Yeah, him and his brother, just really clean form that they have. Taylor's shot off the rim. Rebounded by Aldridge. Marshall to Zarzoza. And rebounded by Toby. Balogun with three fouls. Taylor for three. Off the rim. Cohen Aldridge with the rebound to Dante Marshall. Connor Aldridge left all alone once again, and another three. And again, these shooters for Canyon View, they're, they're just a little too lethal to, to lose in transition like that or on the floor at any time. Coach Holmes elects to uh, call a 30 second timeout. We'll keep it here and uh, just kind of examining the body language of both benches here. So Coach Arona with his team huddled around him teaching Players wide-eyed, paying attention. And looking at the Owls, you've got Coach Holmes addressing his team. Guys are locked in. But you see a little sense of deflation as well as the Jags hang on to a 37-point lead now. Leading 64-27. Yeah. Sorry, Sammy, go no, ahead. And I think part of that, honestly, is just being a bit shell-shocked. You know, anytime a, a, your opponent shoots the ball this well and plays this well, it just kind of feels like you can't do anything. And it's really frustrating, but, you know, just kind of have to give props to your opponent. Rebounded by McNeil. Cosgrove takes it up. And in. Jags lead 66-27. Answering back on the other end, Velasquez. Two and a half minutes remaining in the third period. Marshall another three attempt, it's just short. And the tie up results in Owls basketball. Guy Gray checks back in for the Owls. Anderson to Gray. Inside to Toby. The turnaround jumper is good. Prettiest shot all night from Toby. That was a nice one, and honestly, I think he's been open for the past few possessions. They've just been hesitant to give it to him in there. Brady to Marshall. Back to Cosgrove. Cosgrove double team, leaves Marshall open. And inside, Brady takes it up and rebounded by Velasquez. Cross court pass back to Anderson. We've got some uh, hand action going on there, and Dante Marshall is charged with his first. Guy Gray off to Toby inside the jumper. Off the rim and stolen by Cosgrove. Oh boy, that's uh, four fouls on Balogun. 114 remaining in the third quarter. Franco checks in for Hayes. And Toby Balogun checks out. Gwen is in for the Owls. Marshall now over the top. Pass is intercepted by Gray. 
to Anderson. And the foul. Foul is on Brady. That is his third. And Damarian Anderson will shoot a one and one. Under a minute remaining in the third period. Jaguars lead by 35. Cosgrove to inbound the basketball for the Jags. So going into the fourth quarter here, Sammy, your uh, Owls coach Vernon Holmes strategy. At this point, you know, I would look to at least get a few more series of, you know, what I would say, you know, just a good possession of offense, um, just so that way you can get used to it and, and, you know, get ready for that next game. But more so for the younger players, you know, you just want to get them some minutes at this point. And, you know, in a game like this, whether, you know, winning or losing by this margin, I would look to get, you know, almost a full, a full team of just bench players in so that way they can have that experience and, you know, making sure that they run through the offense against a defense that's actually working. Now, other side of the coin, your Jags coach, Adrian Arona, at what point are you pulling your, your heavy hitters out of the game? Uh, you know, it, it's, it's different for every coach. You know, we see some coaches, you know, really, really, uh, you know, expand that lead and um, kind of run it up a bit. Um, I, you know, for me personally, with a lead about this size, I would start to think about pulling them off. Um, but at the same time, given that it's one of the first games back from break, you know, you kind of want your guys to get any, you know, I don't know, rusty, rusty bits off. Okay. Well, that being said, the Jags lead the Owls 70 to 32. Thanks again for joining us. Stick around for the fourth quarter. We'll be right back. Hey guys, Vince here to talk about Angel Dentistry. It's where my wife and I have gone for over 10 years and we trust them with our routine and extensive dental care because they care. Dr. Amber Angel is an Arizona native, born in the town of Miami and has been practicing in the Valley over 20 years. For general to comprehensive dental services, call 602-788-2008. Located off of Cave Creek Road, just north of the 101 in North Phoenix. Angel Dentistry, proud supporters of our young people and proud partners of the Varsity Sports Show. Welcome back <laughs> to uh, Canyon View High School, both side of tonight's crosstown rivalry between the uh, Agua Fria Owls and the Canyon View Jaguars. Damarian Anderson with the basketball for the Owls. Anderson pushes it out to Guy Gray for three. No good. Rebounded and lost. Anderson. Got some new players in the game for the Jags. And the rebound. And Franco with the basketball inside. And number 34, who we do not have a name for. Let's check our roster. We will have to get that from the scorer's table. We apologize. He uh, just checked into the ball game for the Jags. Franco with the steal over the top to McNeil. And it's good, lays it up and in. Denali McNeil. Midori to Anderson. Anderson pushes, spins, shoots, and is fouled. Foul is on the Jaguars' Chris Reyes. That is his first. And Anderson shoots two. And, you know, we were talking about before we went to break what, what you know, the coach might want to see from these Canyon View Jaguars in this fourth quarter. And with these young players out on the court, I think you're seeing exactly what you want. They're working really hard on defense. 
and you know this late in the game I think it's it's nice having that younger group that you can go to that's hungry to to get in the game because they'll still play hard for those remaining minutes of the game when you know your starters might have a, a tough time staying engaged in the game. Taylor checks back in for Agua Fria. Logan Abreu also checks in for the Jags. And Reyes with the basketball to Abreu. Reyes drives, pushes out to Abreu for three, no good. Franco comes up with the rebound, back to McNeil. McNeil underneath, loses it, and rebounded by Toby. Back out to Midore. And Anderson along the right wing. The deep three is up and no good. McNeil out to Franco for three. In and out. Reyes. Double teamed, dishes to Franco, another three attempt. That one is good. Joseph Franco. Double dribble, turnover, and the Jags will have it. Yeah, it was really close. You know, double dribble, carry, whatever you want to call it. Made a couple moves there that made the ball come to a rest. Reyes for three, in and out. Taylor. Blocked from behind by Reyes, but is charged with the foul. That's Reyes' second. Join us post game, where we will be joined once again by Jags coach Adrian Arona, as well as tonight's player of the game, the coveted player of the game award. A chance to be interviewed live on the Varsity Sports Show Network by none other than the coach himself, Samuel J. Rivera. Abreu with the basketball to Reyes. Back to McNeil. Franco another three. No good. Rebound Taylor. And the steal by McNeil. And 34 lays it up and in. And that is Tucker Lambert, who's listed as 32 on our roster. McNeil with the rebound. Takes it coast to coast, can't get it to fall. Midori with the rebound, finds Anderson, who lays it up and in, and is fouled. <laughs> Foul is on Abreu, that is his first. And Owls coach Holmes calls a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here. Final two minutes and 28 seconds. Sammy, what's the mindset? At this point, it's just avoid injury. You know, it's, it's again, no one likes to lose games like this, but, you know, you just kind of want to stay safe and, and go home at this point. Um, you know, but not surprising that, you know, Agua Fria is still putting some of their main players out there. Still meaningful minutes here. Still a lot of lessons to be learned, possibly. Well, you, you like to think there's a lot of teachable moments here throughout the game. Rather than, you know, watch film and, and, uh, and, and get angry, you know, you've got to find the, the bright spots, right? I mean, they're, they, you know, and things that you can build on, too. Things you get better on. Right. 
And I think, you know, games like this, they, they kind of bring up two things. They, it's really glaring at uh, what you did wrong. But, you know, when you watch the film back, you can find little things that you did right. And it's about finding those so that way you can piece together enough to where you build some momentum. Jaguars up by 42 points. And Abreu rebounded by McNeil, who lays it up and in. 81-37, Jags coming up on two minutes remaining in the ball game. Join us the rest of the week, folks. We've got basketball just about every night this week. Go to our Twitter page, at Varsity Show and you will see links to other games. Jimmy Neo Marimi checks in for the Owls, as well as Jamario Rainey. Franco with the rebound into the hands of McNeil. Reyes. Reyes drives inside, pushes it up, lays it up and in. Chris Reyes. Coming up on one minute remaining in the ball game. Join us post game once again with Jags coach Adrian Arona and tonight's player of the game. Stoppage in play here with 51.4 seconds remaining. Anthony Perez charged with that foul. That is his first. McNeil brings the ball up court for the Jaguars. To Reyes. Reyes for three. No good. McNeil. Dishes it back out to Abreu, to Reyes. Reyes to Franco. Off the glass, and rebounded by Lambert, who is fouled. Foul is on Gwen, that is his first. And as the first shot goes for Lambert, just 23 seconds left in a big win here for Canyon View. Another will fall for Lambert. Rainey brings the ball up court for the Owls. To Midori, inside. Abreu with the rebound, final six seconds, five, four, three. And the Jaguars with the win over the Agua Free Owls. Jaguars advance to 10 and six. The Owls fall to six and 10. We'll be joined shortly here by coach Adrian Arona and tonight's player of the game, Dante Marshall. Stay with us, folks. We'll be right back. Coming this winter to the Varsity Sports Show, AIA, high school, basketball, soccer, and wrestling. Attention, student athletes, parents, coaches, and administrators. We are contracted affiliates with NFHS. Tired of Pixelot? Our NFHS authorized platform can spotlight your favorite team with multi-camera and full broadcast crews. We still offer our YouTube channels as well. Single game, multi-game, and season coverage available to meet every budget, including a segment on the Varsity Sports Radio Show on AM 1060 K. US Arizona dedicated to your team. We can even help promote your booster businesses. Act fast. The season is right around the corner. Joined by Jaguars coach Adrian Arona postgame. 
Hey, Coach. Hey. So, you know, a bit of a statement win for your team, but it's just, you know, the first game of three this week uh, for your team. What, what do you tell them to, to get them ready for those next games that you have coming up? Uh, well, you know, we, we really know, we have a good understanding of, uh, of our schedule and who we have to play. Um, we, we got Millennium later on this week. That's going to be a really good um, uh, grudge match between us. Uh, but, you know, the guys are well-grounded. Uh, we, they definitely are doing what we expected we should be doing at this point in the season, and we're just building towards the end. And so coming back from break, I'm just curious, how has the team, I guess, you know, done given you know with tournament play and getting through all of that now that they're in you know really the heart of the regular season just how you know how's the team meshing right now how's how's it how how are things i really like where our chemistry's at you know we had um we had a potential um, young man come in as a transfer and you know he may end up you know working out with us towards the end of the season but right now our chemistry is really good i really didn't want to mess anything up and um and, and uh, disrupt that because i feel like we're clicking pretty well right now great thank you so much coach yep. And now our player of the game, Dante Marshall. So you finished with 19 points tonight, and I just have to ask, were you feeling it tonight or, or what? What about tonight, you yeah. know, yeah, helped I you was, go off? Yeah, I was definitely feeling it tonight. I was just shooting the rock, uh, trying to get my teammates involved too. So, yeah, I just felt like I had the hot hand. So. And, again, your teammates were knocking down a lot of the, the shots that you set them up for. Just kind of talk about how your teammates helped you guys get such a big win like this. Uh, definitely just, like, hitting open shots on, like, the run and, like, coming down the court and just, like, catching the ball and finishing strong at the rim. So, yeah, definitely that's what my teammates did. And, you know, in transition, we noticed that you really like to attack the rim. Just uh, kind of tell us about, you know, what goes through your mind when you see a a big or someone that's a, a bit taller than you when you're attacking? I mean, what what's going through your head when you're attacking the rim? Man, I've been like, I'm shorter than everybody else, so I just got to like fear no one for real. So I just go straight at their chest and that's what I got to do, yeah. Great, thank you so much and congrats yeah. on the great game. Thank you. Okay. We'll actually do it for us out here at Canyon View High School with a, a big win by the Jags tonight. Yeah, so a, a great great job tonight all the way around. Wanted to, to uh, send a special shout out to our production team tonight, led by our technical director, Bailey Lazier, uh, Javon and uh, Antonia, uh, our Canyon View student interns that are running cameras for us tonight. Uh, obviously, my uh, analysis partner here, the coach, Sammy Rivera. My name is Vince Delisio. Thanks again for joining us. Look out for more games the rest of the week at Varsity Show on Twitter. Have a great night, everyone, and go Varsity. Thank you for listening to the Varsity Sports Show. Our mission is to empower education and enable dreams, creating a platform to promote young people in extracurricular activities and community outreach. If you are interested in partnering up with the Varsity Sports Show, find us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or call or text us at 480-779-9437. The Varsity Sports Show, Arizona's home for youth, high school, college, and youth.